Welcome once again to this video. In this video, we're going to look at the save functionality in, in Blazor, as well as how it's had in clean architecture. So we'll focus most of our attention on the Blazor, but just to add the functionality. So we had the interface, which had given us a contract, which says you need to add a sync, add a customer, then we said that we need to use this in our infrastructure project. So in our infrastructure project, we had the customer repository and we had not yet implemented it. So for us to implement this, uh, we're going to call the context because that's what we write, context. And the, the class is customers and you want to add add in a customer then you would want to await in order for you to affect the changes that you need to say save changes so this will enable you to add the customer now let's proceed to our blazer application and if we run it there are a few things that you're going to see so you will see that in out of the box in your Blazor app, you're going to have this outlook, which will change. So this side here, where you have home, count, and weather, this is the nav menu. And this, where there's counter, these are just components. So weather is a component, counter is a component, and I will talk about it better on. But what I'll do is I'll remove the, the nav menu, I'll remove the about there. We'll go to our main layout. See that we have components. The nav menu there is a component, which is here. I don't want to have that there. So you can comment that out. And we have that about, which I said I'm going to get rid of as well. So I'll just comment it out. Then uh, we can say, OK, padding top maybe. Let's make that five render the body so here we are um, these are the counters which I showed you there was the one for counter weather and home I'm just going to remove all of those I'm gonna start from scratch so that you understand how these components are built so on pages I'm gonna add I click add areas a component and I'll call this component it be called add new customer for instance So we want this component to be able to route to it. So we add what we call a page comp a page. So we say page. If you go to add new customer, then on this page, I would like to see. So you see there's a there, there's a routable component we've added there. I'll just copy this and I'll run it one more time to see if that is working. You see when it runs, it says Nothing is fine because we've deleted everything. Let's go to the add new counter. And you see, we have this. So the nav, the, the nav menu is gone, the about is gone, which is how we want it. Okay. So we're going to create a form that will enable us to see, to create a new user. So I'm going to remove this and I'll use something that's a component as well. It's called page title. And in this page title, it's going to be add new customer. Like so, okay. Then, for us to add a customer, then we need to have a customer, a customer object. It can only be fair. So I'll say private um, customer. Now I'm bringing the domain entities there. I know people might say you use a view model, but for simplicity, I'll just bring it there. So we'll say customer, customer, uh, get and set, get and set. Uh, it's a new customer since it's the new version of C sharp. We might as well remove the customer and just put the new there. And we'd like to get the parameters from the form which we're going to create, right? 
and we need to have a function that will be used to also save the to save the the user which will be add customer obviously we, we might not need these guys but we won't have that function so whenever we we call this function we'd like to take whatever is in the customer in the form and add to our database so we need to come up with our form so we'll create a div and this div uh, the class would be raw so i'm just using post of five there class should be raw and let's try to justify our content to be on the center All right then we're also going to have another div um, which just to take half the page the class would be column six just get half the page then we're going to have our form so there's the html form and there's the blazer form it's called edit form like so there's a feature called enhance which saves us time because it does not re-render so i'll set this to true a very important feature set this to true enhance should be set to true right a form should have a form name and we'll call this form name add customer form uh, then if the form is valid then we're going to have on valid submit on valid submit we'll just say call the function which is called add customer um, we also want to know and we also need to know what model we're we using so our model here is obviously the customer and then we can add uh, a heading to our form let's bring an h3 and this will be uh well add new customer like so then um can bring in a div with a column of um uh, okay div sorry a div with a class this is put a margin bottom three then we're gonna have a label the label will be for we have the customer name and uh, the class will be form label form label okay we can close that and we can call this customer name then we're going to bring another blazer built in it's got an input text it's going to be an input text can be an input dead depending on what you have so we're gonna have an input text like so and then the text is going to have an id and the id needs to be the same as the, the label their name and then it has what we call an on bind value so what is it binding to a bind value in our case it will bind to customer dot you guessed it name um so id name and you can give it a class of form control and there we go then i'll copy this div for the name we have the name we have the email uh, email so customer email this would be email address we have the phone customer phone Do we have to put customer phone or just phone we'll see and this will be customer phone number and then we need to have also another div that will be for the submit button so a div that will have same class okay we have the same class margin bottom three then within that we can have a button and within the button we can have a class uh, it could be btn and that btn primary and maybe just say shadow none if that looks better then we can say save that will save then once we get that remember we have our functionality in the customer repository right the iCustomer repository 
So we would want to use that dependency, which is the repository, because we don't want to use the actual class. Then it based the whole purpose of dependency. So I'm going to bring in inject right a custom repository i custom repository called custom repository it wants us to bring those interfaces again i would like to also move to another page after this that's where we inject the navigation manager so navigation manager navigation manager okay now to avoid having so many usings blazer comes up with the proper way it's called a class called imports here so all things will be added the imports the using segments will be added there centrally so let's go to the imports okay for some reason i cannot go to imports what's the issue get me to inputs please there add it here and if i go back to add new customer you see the errors will have gone so there we have it um okay sorry not done yet we need to say for us to add get me the customer repository then it has a function at the code add a sync and it adds the customer can we await because it's an awaitable function then after that i would like to navigate to the home page but the home page is not yet done don't worry about that so here we are we have created a form this form talks to the repository which is in the application in turn it, it knows how to get the implementation so i'll copy these guys and also run it so once we're here since the home page has nothing we'll go to the add new component and add new customer there we have it put my name there email would be gmail.com for instance and i can put my number then i can save now we don't have the home page so when it goes to the home page it'll give you an error but we need to find out if we have been able to add so i'll go to the customers table and i'll go to view data and we'll see that the email I had put is there so in this video we're able to add a customer in the next video we're going to be able to view all the customers in this blazer clean architecture approach thank you very much and see you in the next video